Hi and welcome to Economics Week 12. So this week we're going into the realm of business ownership. It's crucial to grasp the various business structures like sole proprietorships and partnerships, whether you're aspiring to launch your own venture or simply seeking a better understanding of how businesses function. Let's delve further into these structures and how they operate in the business world. So a sole proprietorship is a business owned and operated by a single individual. For example, consider a personal tutoring service run by an individual tutor. The tutor manages all aspects of the business independently and is personally responsible for any liabilities or debts incurred by the business. This form of ownership is popular among small local businesses, independent contractors, or freelancers due to its simplicity and ease of operation. The advantages are diverse. So imagine a small local artisan creating and settling handcrafted jewelry. The autonomy and control allow the artisan to make quick decisions and changes as needed. Moreover, all profits generated belong solely to him or her. The simplicity in tax filing reduces administrative burdens, making financial management less complex. Additionally, minimal formalities in starting and operating the business result in reduced bureaucratic hassles and lower operational costs. Despite its benefits, a sole proprietorship has significant drawbacks. Picture a freelance graphic designer who faces the risk of being personally liable for business debts or legal issues. If the designer's business encounters financial problems, their personal assets, such as savings or personal property, may be at risk. Moreover, securing loans or investments can be challenging, as financial institutions or investors may be hesitant due to the lack of separation between personal and business assets. We will also be taking a look at the characteristics of different types of partnerships. So partnerships come in various forms. In a general partnership, consider two marketing professionals joining forces to start a marketing agency together. Both partners equally share in the responsibilities, profits, and management of the business. On the other hand, limited partnerships, however, in often involve a scenario where one partner provides financial support but does not engage in day-to-day -day operations, as often seen in real estate or investment ventures. Partnerships offer a range of benefits. For example, think of a partnership formed by two chefs to open a restaurant. Each chef brings their unique culinary skills, culinary skills, and networks, resulting in a more robust and diverse menu. Partnerships allow for shared responsibilities, leading to the pooling of resources and expertise. They can secure larger investments or loans due to the credibility and shared responsibility among partners, facilitating business growth. So understanding these different business structures, be it sole proprietorships or partnerships, is crucial in laying the groundwork for your future business endeavors. So whether you, you aim to uh, start your own small business or partner with others, comprehending these structures provides insights into the dynamics of business ownerships. So I hope that you found this preview to be sufficient so far. I strongly encourage you to utilize our Beyond Classroom platform. There you will find lesson objectives, uh, daily breakdowns, key terms, uh, tutorials, followed by activities that help you gain a comprehensive and thorough understanding of the lesson. Also, you'll find on BC self-assessment. There you can test your knowledge. You can do practice tests or quizzes and see where you're at in terms of your grasp of the material. And you'll also find challenging questions if you, uh, if you wish to uh, delve deeper into the topic and you'll find a further practice section. So say that you found that you're struggling with understanding a particular concept or a particular lesson. The further practice section serves 
as an aid in helping you and helping you understand in a simplified way the core concepts of the lesson. So I uh, I want to thank you, and I want to say that I look forward to seeing you and working with you all in the coming week.